Hello, everyone. We are going to preface this podcast by saying something went wrong with the video and we lost it. So we're going to keep the original audio because we're not about to recreate it. But what we will do for you guys is try to pantomime the pitches so that if you guys are watching it, that uh, you guys will have something to watch. Uh, so we're sorry. Maybe it won't happen ever again. Probably it will happen next time. And enjoy the show. So earlier today, right before I came here, I walked in onto my two cats, both males just licking each other, like, and they were into it. And I was like, this is hilarious. So I pulled out Snapchat and I like started filming and I like tried to creep up on them. And then when I, when they like noticed me, they like stopped and were like, <gasps> and they like wouldn't go back to licking each other until I left the room. <laughs> Did you that, set up one of those like baby cameras so yeah. that that you can verify that they lick each other yeah, right, right after? Oh, here's the video out of focus. Uh, Pretend you can see that. Each other. <laughs> the end. Which parts of each other I were they licking? I while I was pooping Mostly before the podcast. Faces. Wait, poop? <laughs> all, was, all Scotty hears is poop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, everyone, this is Scotty. Hi, Hello. Scotty. We ended up working with Scotty this past weekend on a shoot. Um, he was the second AD. Yes. Second AD. Yep. And we were, since we were behind on the schedule, since I was in Santa Fe shooting, we decided we'd have Scotty during the week here for a short little podcast to fill in. Also because we feel bad for him. Well, thanks for having me. Uh, my uh, psychologist, um, also thanks you. <laughs> <laughs> it's good for you to get human interaction. <laughs> yeah. get out. Instead of filming your cats. Yeah. My dumb cats. Licking wieners. <laughs> His faces. Cat a, sp lick. a split second of me was like, do cats have wieners? <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> so yeah, they're barbs too. Neither of my cats, like, I think they've both been like castrated or whatever. Castrated. Castrated. Yeah, they've been castrated. They got um, all the cat out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they're like, and it's just a shell of a cat now. But uh, neither of them, I've like, I thought I was pretty sure both of them were girls, but everyone was like, no, they're, they're definitely dudes. But. <laughs> hmm. I would definitely, <laughs> definitely, definitely. So Scotty has his own YouTube channel. Yes, at Scotty Leonard. I guess, is that. It? Do you have? Do you have like a, uh, a channel? Okay. Actual channel user <sighs> youtube.com slash yes so it's youtube.com slash mr binsworth um oh, yeah mr bin b-i-n-s-w-o-r-t-h because i made my channel in middle school and i just i like actually if you go to my very first video and you compare it to my very last video i love doing that you'll like see that i learned how to make a film kind of <laughs> it's a lot the, better than i did yeah the progression because youtube is has been for our generation kind of our own film school but it's all oh, yeah it's all uh what's the what's the word uh uh just public and you can it's a oh, record it's like, like a record yeah, <laughs> yeah like a public record because because like if we could experience. see like scorsese or spielberg and all of their home movies I from about that a lot growing like, up like how dope would that be being on set with roger deakins i was like i was looking through his imdb and just thinking like I want to. I want to watch all of these and see how terrible he was. <laughs> right. To start, you know. I wonder what a young Roger Deakins was like his first day on set. You know, was he really timid and like, nervous, <laughs> or did he get yelled at? <laughs> <laughs> the guy who yelled at Roger Deakins, like, hey, I remember yelling at that idiot. <laughs> he's directing. This fucking kid didn't know what a fifty mil was. <laughs> fifty million. <laughs> <laughs> the best lens there is with fifty million. Now, if you ask him for fifty mil, he just brings out his briefcase of so much fucking money. <laughs> he just like writes you a check. Like, hey. He's like, yeah, we need a fifty mil for this shot. And there you go. There it is. <laughs> That's a lot of money, but okay. It's One dollar per mil. <laughs> dollar per mil. <laughs> Oh my god! It's if the shot is uh, yeah by Scotty math, if it's a five second <laughs> shot, it's about ten mil per sec. <laughs> <laughs> Filmmaking is expensive. <laughs> uh, do what could we do? Uh, I mean, like, that's basically what it was when we were still shooting on film. You know, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. I'm trying to think of how much, how how absurd a movie we can make with five million or fifty mil. 
Oh, <laughs> dude. And how actually we absurd could, it would be. We could make the hell out of Bear With Me with 50 mil. I think we would just resort to filming... We'd have a normal lot of, um, scenes while sky- skydiving. Like we like, <laughs> oh, yeah. tape like tables to our knees, <laughs> and try to like run the lines normal as we're falling, and do like twenty takes of it. Or just, I got a little, little wind <laughs> on my lawn that time. I was about to say that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not too great for sound. If we could just try if it one more just time, do it again, but on the ground and make a normal fucking movie like I've been asking since <laughs> Scout. Now that we've spent forty five mi- like of the. Mi- <laughs> <laughs> the 50 mil just, <laughs> just on, use that last just on the fucking on five pizza. times <laughs> we just buy those like 50 grand pizzas <laughs> with like gold flakes have you seen yes. those yeah. and then half of the, our budget is us going up and down skydiving <laughs> and the second half is having another plane skydive the pizza down on top of us <laughs> so we're eating it really? as we catch it oh my god <laughs> yeah instead of being strapped to those guys who know what they're doing skydiving we're just strapped to pizza boxes <laughs> and we have to eat them before we get to the, the because we have to use them our parachute yeah <laughs> we're like eating them really <laughs> fast like oh it. i said no pickles <laughs> <laughs> oh god no pickles on my pizza <laughs> i don't want to try pickle pizza now <laughs> pickles they have pickle pickle on the pizza <laughs> <laughs> give me pick <laughs> Whip cream marble. if I, we do i legit ate that foam <laughs> 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 spicy cinnamon pickle pizza well, wait, where was the spice? The cinnamon. Oh, you guys were talking about cinnamon awful, pickles on a it. previous podcast. Yeah. 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 So, like, cinnamon pickle pizza. Scotty's our biggest fan. That's why we had him <laughs> on. I was, yeah, I was like, who oh, am I? He's one of the two people that hits like on our videos. <laughs> uh-huh. The other. Paul plays it cool. He's like, ah, I don't need to like. <laughs> yeah. You, I don't know. I, I think YouTube actually counts my own likes. Really? But I feel like they would. I feel like they have an algorithm because only like the smallest channels would hit like on their own. <laughs> so, yeah. like, so, like, so part of me feels like if I if don't I do, do it, it, they might. They'll bump it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because they're like, well, this guy's not, you know, manipulating it himself like right. everyone else is yeah. when they're like at small subscribers. So I'm just like jaded. And I think that if I don't. I might have a better, <laughs> might chance. Have a better chance. Well, on Reddit, <laughs> when you make a comment or a post, they they auto upvote yourself. Yeah. yeah. It's like the opposite so you of just that. Downvote your own life. Yeah, I have to oh, downvote yeah. myself. <laughs> be like, I ain't a part of that. I'm a masochist in the posting <laughs> world. There's a lot of users like that that will only post to get downvoted to oblivion. Like EA, <laughs> yeah. Is that what? Is that just that's just a troll thing, right? There's no, there's oh, no actual it's benefit. Be. It's literally in, just like, ha, you fuckers cared. <laughs> yeah, I made you care. I made you care. It's almost like just exploiting humanity, and <laughs> like, like you, you just figure out that that you can get a rise out of people just because, just because you can. Like you're, yeah, yeah. You're just one upping them by by showing how pissed off they can be <laughs> over over kilobytes of text on a screen. So. But have you seen some ASCII art? Like <laughs> those kilobytes can do a lot. Yeah. There's a there's a subreddit for ASCII porn. Does it move? Some of them. <laughs> That's amazing. Some of it's like really impressive. <laughs> <laughs> I I got to it just being like, oh, it's gonna be open parentheses dot close parentheses <laughs> twice I, I for like boobs. Eight you know, equals three. Yeah, <laughs> or eight equals. Uh, D, 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 capital yeah. D is a messed up it's period, like, period, period, yeah, comma. You've got your balls on the head of the penis. <laughs> <laughs> my dick was cat straighted a year ago. It's a fucking mess down there. Yeah, my, my dick was cat straighted too. I don't get any pussy. <laughs> Wait, is that how, <laughs> that's how they turn the female cats into the male cats is by castrating them? Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, so right. that they can sing at a higher level in, in opera. They can sing at those. <laughs> oh, they do it for the cat piano. Yeah, do they keyboard cat? Do they call them? Me- <laughs> I was talking about a very different cat piano. <laughs> do they call them Munichs? <laughs> Mew. That's all I wanted. That's, fucking That's good. really fucking good. That's good. Uh, well done. Well done, Scotty. Cats. I think cats are like not the well one. Well done, us. I, th- I think meow is the most appropriate onomatopoeia for 
for dogs because dogs like they bark but it's not like bark bark <laughs> bark but but like little kitties actually say mew meow. mew you just said i think meow is the most accurate onomatopoeia for dogs <laughs> did i <laughs> yeah <laughs> then that's that's what i meant <laughs> i was like all right when do dogs say when do meow dogs? <laughs> yeah i thought you were gonna say like meow is more accurate to a bark no. <laughs> like you were gonna go into an argument for it i was very curious <laughs> 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 Yeah, I, I I stand by it. Yeah. I am not gonna follow up though. Back <laughs> <laughs> to nothing. <laughs> Moving forward, I'm your new president. <laughs> Hashtag dog meows our president. <laughs> uh, Brett, you want to start trendy? us off with no. some ideas that you definitely have that is <laughs> super ironed out. Just been working on it all week. Nothing but this. <laughs> like not sitting around playing Mario Kart, which I just bought. Right before we went live, Brett was just begging not to to, to call him out on, on ideas. So naturally, I just call him out. Was, hey, I wasn't begging. I was just saying my ideas are shit. Oh, and by the way, Nintendo Switch is perfect for having on set. Oh my god, there's like it's you know a hurry up and wait is a thing. We don't wait. We yeah. switch. I I played the Switch for the first time on that set. And like I've seen the commercials and I've seen the reviews and seen the whole time Nintendo. I was like, uh, who cares? It's just a freaking dumbass console. Who gives a shit? But then I was playing it on set and I was like, let me make sure I have three hundred dollars. I think I'm gonna buy this like within the next ten minutes. Yeah. Uh, three sixty because you need Zelda. Yeah, and yeah. also Mario Kart eight and like all the other yeah. multiplayer. Well, yeah, it's so Scotty's it's bank account is just it's either <laughs> enough for Switch or not enough for Switch. Like there's only two. I was like, there's rent, two. Switch. Rent, I switch. Binary system. Maybe you could rent a Switch. <laughs> Maybe you could switch a rent. <gasps> switch could, a rent for a Switch. <laughs> you just switch the guy's rent. I was like, it's a Switch. <laughs> there's, there's rumors that maybe the new um, switch. Smash Bros. Unless you live in a shithole. Oh. Might not only have Crash Bandicoot and Spyro in it. But Scotty as well. But <laughs> the me for Scotty, actually. Uh, it already yeah. does. They're, they're thinking it might be something like like Double Dash, where it would be two players in the cart, oh, but, yeah. but you'd be able to tag team oh, Smash, tag Smash Bros. Tournament so, Smash Bros. So you would that's, switch the characters out, that's and you'd so have like cool. a fresh stock, and then Dude, you'd switch back it. to it. Man, so I'd just be switching out immediately, like, sorry, I actually really suck at this You game. just swap <laughs> right <laughs> when you're about <laughs> to get hit <laughs> with a <laughs> full <laughs> charge <laughs> yeah. in Smash. That's a good idea. Yeah, man, we could switch it up for a bit Uh, with our switches. So anyway, so I have uh, like one underdeveloped idea this week, (laughs) as usual. (laughs) Uh, It's just like this guy uh, got onto uh, what's that show? Like, show me your crib. Show me your genitals. Oh, show me your that's genitals. Just a, that's your just genitals. a show my uncle wanted me that's to be on. <laughs> I don't think it's come out yet. Huh. Oh, I'm not supposed to say anything. <laughs> sorry. Wait, sorry. Oh, it's oh, really, wait, yeah. it's going to be a big thing. Mm. Uh, no, what's that show? It's like show me your crib or like uh, check cribs. out my crib. Cribs? Cribs. Cribs. No, MTV that's, Cribs. That's the show for babies. The baby version. Cribs with a Z. <laughs> you got like really nice cribs. And there's... Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Whatever the fucking MTV show is about cribs. check out my crib. I think it's check it's out my called... crib. Uh, <laughs> Bloods or cribs. <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> so this like big rapper dude uh, is like really confident in himself, but he's like come from the bottom. So he still has like the lifestyle of being messy as fuck <laughs> so they're like going through his house and he's like yo just my my bedroom beds on made that's how i live i ain't gonna change for the camera you know <laughs> and then like you just hear a voice from behind the camera like yeah sure but like i just feel a little... I don't know, you just look a little messy i guess <laughs> and he just looks up at the camera like and then he just cuts and you're walking into his bedroom. He's like, this is my bedroom. And it's like super pristine and made just right. You know, <laughs> they go on through his, uh, his living room. He's like, this is my living room. Check out my sweet pink couch. And he's like, that's kind of girly, right? <laughs> cuts <laughs> check out my sweet couch it's like black leather there's a hot chick on it like, <laughs> who, who's the guy saying this the the sidebar stuff it's just like somebody working someone on, on set yeah, someone the behind the camera you know <laughs> director of the camera guy i kind of I, I feel like it would be funny to do a really incompetent crew while they were shooting <laughs> like like it's almost like the 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 pilot for this show and they're still trying to work out the kinks of production <laughs> oh yeah so they're like walking through and then uh 
the camera guy just like his attention is just fucking awful and he's like zooming in on like the cat in the corner <laughs> or something while the guy's talking and <laughs> like describing his amazing fucking swimming pool with like <laughs> A uh, water slide that does loops and shit, and he's just like, "Look at this fucked up crack in the ground. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this needs to be regrouted." They're like trying to review it. <laughs> oh yeah, that would be kind of funny. Yeah. Like, Half the crew review. got the wrong like memo on what the show was about. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I like that. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> and I think I think the best, most practical way to do this is to take actual rooms and houses from the show yeah and then you know like screenshot a steal from it and then photoshop clone stamp the person out and <laughs> yeah. then green screen us in be like yo this is the uh <laughs> whatever pool house car sink <laughs> car sink <laughs> car sink <laughs> and i got an entire 64 chevrolet and moved all the engine out of it to make a sink <laughs> and it's one of those uh those i want that <laughs> the simplest moves to help create like it doesn't make it look real but it, it it helps it create you just like film camera handheld camera motion and then you track it and then you apply that motion to the green screen and the the clip behind it so it you move with the green screen so it looks handheld and it's just mm. one of those things that like captain disillusion always mentions because <laughs> everyone does that in fake videos just <laughs> to captain just <laughs> because it's not a static green screen yeah, shot yeah. you can kind of hide it a bit with like a little bit of camera motion <laughs> and then I don't know. I don't know what the uh, punchline would be. Do we got any ideas for punchline? So they're like, all right, now we're moving to on to the next house, but the locations manager didn't tell the guy like what day it was happening, and he's like in the middle of like some like he's just like jacking off in the like bathroom or something, <laughs> as one <laughs> like, does. Hey, hey, we're here. I was like, oh, the locations guy. <laughs> they're like, are like they they just go in for the, the with the camera, and they're like, all right, uh. All right, you told him we're coming today, right? And he's like, he's "Yeah, like, I think so." And they're like, "All and right, he's like, yeah, I heard it come today." <laughs> <laughs> they're like, "I don't know." He's like, he's just doing something that like like he's just like painting, like remodeling the bathroom, or like some like he just was not expecting them to show up. <laughs> yeah, he's getting it ready for them to to come check out his crib. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, what if he's an what actual crib builder? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's good. And then, like you hear you hear like the banging and screaming and you think so, he's like, "Oh, I don't think we're allowed like this is gross to go in." And you okay, open up and he's just building a crib and like hammering down and like, "Oh, god damn it. Oh, feels kind of good though when I r- rub it." Ow. Oh, like, yeah, I like the pain. <laughs> Next week oh, on oh. Cribs. <laughs> <laughs> Next week on Cribs. It's just a bunch of babies <laughs> pushing each other over. It's it's basically just human fall flat and they're trying to push each other out of the crib. <laughs> the game is too good. I love the game. I like it. I I don't I don't yeah, know. it's it, not quite it's there yet. Another like, one needs workshop. Yeah. And, well. Uh I don't know why I I just assume that the uh, the people on cribs always tend to be these like rappers because they have yeah, like yeah. the most That's what I did cool too. cribs got right yeah. right they got the cribbiest crib and they the, got the the gold plated uh, house house bottom what the fuck do you call that <laughs> siding Floor? oh the the linoleum <laughs> yeah <laughs> gold plated <laughs> linoleum <laughs> bitches <laughs> and it, it just it reminded me of that that idea we were eating. <laughs> the idea we had when we were eating Taco Bell right before the last day this weekend on set and we were hearing Will listen to this yes. rap song and and we thought it'd be funny to have this rapper you know it's like a hard hard hitting beat and the rapper starts off with um, how manly he is and how, how cool he is you know it's like like make money get bitches type thing um, and he goes into this rant about how the strongest people are ones who admit their weaknesses because if you own your weaknesses, then it's not a weakness. Like if you own up to it, like people can't hold it over your head basically. So it starts off like a little innocent where he's like, um, let me see. It's in here somewhere. He, it starts off innocent and he's talking about like, Oh, back at school, I was in elementary school and I peed my pants, but guess what? It was on purpose. <laughs> I wanted to prove to them, at, like, it's like a it's, power play. Yeah, yeah they're great. Looked I'll his show teacher you. straight in the eyes and said, "I'll show you who can go to the bathroom." <laughs> yeah, so kind of like little little things like that, where he's like, 
yeah, even though this happened, it's actually part of my master plan of being cool because I'm owning up to it. And it's just all these <laughs> awful things. And of course, have it actually rhyme. But <laughs> we'll I, haven't, I haven't got I haven't got that we'll far yet. In post. And then by the end, we got to the bit. Oh, I I, I didn't write this down. I think Scotty did, but I I could oh, probably. Do you want me to pull it out? Yeah, if you can, All right. whip it out for whip us. It out. Whip it out. Whip um, it out. So see. like just embarrassing embarrassing stories that um, it's realist rap. Oh yeah, realist rap. So so yeah, so it's gonna end. It's it ends with like. I've been with my wife currently for eight years. We're slowly getting unhappier as life goes on. More responsibilities. It gets too stressful. I don't give her the love and attention she deserves. And then it just gets worse and worse and worse about his marriage. And and they're, he's just ranting. He's like, we've been married for so long that sometimes it's easier to be unhappy in our current situation than to take a chance. <laughs> and it's just it's just this like heartbreaking realist truth where 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 we take this guy who was in his marriage that isn't working and that he's he's too afraid to to leave it because sometimes it's easier to be in a shitty marriage than to just go through and get a divorce and be separate like it's just so much work and it's oh, different dude. than what you know and it's just just That's like some... heartbreaking right <laughs> That's some cyanide and happiness, like depressing <laughs> like comic week sad, shit right yeah. there. <laughs> sad week or whatever. Oh. I love those weeks. Mm -hmm. No, I really love that idea though. I'm it's sure. just such a heavy drop of like, <laughs> sometimes it's easier to be comfortable and unhappy than to take a chance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's, there's we once. We loved each other in seven <laughs> years. <laughs> once we get actual rhymes attached to it, it'll help like <laughs> yeah. form what, what the idea will actually be <laughs> um this is one idea i uh this is for evan and evan evan is good things he's here <laughs> evan, pretend i'm evan for this one so evan's in this uh scientist lab i guess and it starts with all these scientists like cheering and high-fiving and like champagne and they're all happy because they made this big discovery and the board just has a bunch of codes and formulas and and a big like circle over this this number like one three eight two factorial or something and they circle it and they get all happy and the it kind of dies down and everyone's walking out they're saying goodbyes they're like oh good work good work it's been 10 long years yeah i know yeah great job great job awesome stuff and then evan does this little like it's not like the charlie brown like sad kicking the floor like walk but it's like a nostalgic sort of he's walking with his hand on the counter and he's kind of like rubbing it and looking up at all his work and he's just like like basking in the magnificence of the scientific discovery and you don't know what exactly it is yet and it's just all of these complex codes and stuff and he he walks up to the board and he he looks at it kind of like fondles it <laughs> like looks, bundles the board he bottles the board and he's like this is <laughs> gently caresses it he doesn't he doesn't say anything once everyone's gone he, it, it's more of like this deep like it's like respect. a soulful goodbye to yeah. the place where he's spent his last like 10 years of work exactly yeah and and he walks over to his desk and he's packing up his stuff and he sees like a little calculator or whatever and he looks at the board looks at the calculator looks at the board and he types in the number, like whatever the number happens to be, like one, three, two, seven. He looks at the board. <laughs> he hits divided by. And then he hits zero. And then he hits equal. <laughs> and then it just fucking explodes. Because you can't divide by zero. <laughs> <laughs> it just ruins all his work. Yeah, he just explodes the whole lab. Uh, and like outside, like everyone's like, hey, wait. <laughs> you just, just hear a like, distant explosion and somebody smoke high coming fives out. and it's like <laughs> <laughs> like was that us <laughs> oh it, well, yeah it cuts outside and they're like did anyone take a picture of the formula <laughs> <laughs> you just hear it explode everyone's like someone's like oh wait i did and then his phone explodes <laughs> <laughs> he's like wait but i remember it still <laughs> his mind explodes <laughs> <laughs> i like that if like the whole thing they were doing was like discovering how to divide by zero 
but like by discovering how to do it, that's what makes it explode. <laughs> As soon as they realize it's possible, the number explodes. Yeah, 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 like if there's a certain variable that you have to like plug in, like because you weren't able to. I'm not a scientist, <laughs> but there was there, there's something about the I like imaginary numbers that yeah, they I weren't know. able to take square roots of I guess negative numbers. I don't remember what I means, but yeah, it's 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 a square root of a negative is an imaginary number. Yeah, so like they couldn't they Fuckers. couldn't solve these formulas until they got to I, and then they all of a sudden had this thing that they could relate it to, and then actually make sense of it. Even so it's just something they fucking made up. Yeah. So <laughs> if it's if it's yeah like some sort of variable that that we come up with. But it's it's not it's not a letter or a negative. Number. It's I. like it's like a like a specific <laughs> shape thing that has some sort of meaning, and and no one writes it down because it's just so interesting or unique, and that's that's why you can't remember it because it's not just a letter or something. It's, it's just enigma. a weird yeah <laughs> yeah. So I don't know. Yeah. I just I just really thought that, that I just thought the idea of Evan. Explode. Evan dividing by zero and just everything exploding <laughs> was really fucking funny. You, uh, I when you were like, you don't really know what they were, what they've been researching. I immediately was like, oh, they're trying to figure out how to like manufacture farts. <laughs> <laughs> That's definitely where he's going it's with this. The number clearly. Is just <laughs> yeah, you know, if you can reverse engineer a fart, you can make a serum <laughs> that changes in your microbiome <laughs> and fart out of your serum. small intestines to neutralize the fart and actually turn it into whatever <laughs> you want it to be. <laughs> it's the imaginary fart that like sucks back in instead of coming out. It's like, like if you have the opposite frequency of a frequency, it dampens it. So that yeah, happens. exactly. Yeah. Opposite it's, fart frequency. You'll never fart again. And some guy in the back's like, "Oh man, that was my kink." Yeah, it's called like destructive resonance or something. Like, <laughs> is that they they perfectly balance each other out so it's just neutral? Like air still comes out your butt, obviously, <laughs> but you no mean, sound. Yes. Would it Would it be tailored to? your meal like if you oh, i had mexican i need the mexican pill <laughs> and it has the different like microbiome to, the to Indian, counter it like oh my god <laughs> the curry yeah the taco bell pill is like four times bigger than the rest of them <laughs> you have to like actually insert it up here like, <laughs> yeah the suppository <laughs> all right i think i'm ready yeah i like the idea of like taco art. bell having <laughs> supplement like jokes over the years five different bags it's like you take this pre-meal this is during meal and then you have five that you have to take three hours separate after like taco bell is like the most complex one <laughs> everyone's like oh this is so great i love that we have technology and one guy's just like fuck that and it's the way just mary poppins of farting <laughs> All right, I think I have one, but I don't know how to segue into it. All right, All right and that's been our podcast. <laughs> <laughs> see you guys. All right, next we'll see week. you guys. <laughs> um, just go for so, it. All right, yeah. all right, all right. Do it. So imagine this. So this is um, some children. It's like uh, nice. two kids, and they're like playing like kind of Indiana Jones, some sort of adventure thing. Or no, there's three kids, and they're all like, "Oh it's yeah, kids. yeah, okay, whatever." One or two, it doesn't matter. Five Just kids. more than one kid is all that matters for this bit. And so they're like Indiana Jones, they're going on adventures, and like there's this point where like one, like they're like hanging off a bri like a ledge or something, and one kid sacrifices himself for the good of the group, and he's like, "No, no, no, you gotta get the Trevor treasure," and like it like merges into like reality or like or like um. It's so imaginary like, view. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you're yeah. seeing the imaginary. So it's like this like awesome, like they're going on these adventures and you kind of see and he's like, oh, I'll see you. Like, I'll do this to save you guys. And he like and he falls to his death and dies. And then they like, oh, man, it's so sad. But then they're like, oh, but then they get the treasure and they're like, this is awesome. And so yeah, then they get the treasure and then they like they're like they sadly bury their friend. And then you hear. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I can't even say this. With a we gotta face. kill a kid to, to film the sketch. Yeah. So then they're like, they're just like Timmy, and then they're like, whew, it's just back to re reality. And like, oh, okay, hey mom, and they like run in, and they're like, oh, hey, where's Jeffrey? And they're like, huh? 
<laughs> and it just oh cuts God. back to there's Jeffrey is like there's like a little headstone and Jeffrey's <laughs> been buried. He's actually been buried like <laughs> under the <laughs> dirt. <laughs> oh my god, that's so good. <laughs> it's just oh one joke. Like I'm sure there's something else in there, but like I think I it'd be really funny like if, if one of the kid betrays Jeffrey and steals the, the treasure and kills him, <laughs> and then he, he kind of conceals it and makes the other kid bury him. <laughs> And then, at, like, the big punchline after we see that Jerry's actually buried, he Jeffrey. reaches in his pocket and he has the actual treasure. <laughs> and then he just That's pockets really it good. and, like, evilly smiles. I like that. I was thinking it'd be funny if uh, they went through that whole scenario and he sacrificed himself so that they could go get the treasure. But the treasure was one of those situations where it's like, the treasure was your friendship the whole time. <laughs> and the treasure is dead, buried right now. <laughs> <laughs> they just like have this really silent <laughs> moment like gathered around their, this grave. They're just like all like looking around like <laughs> it was pretty far for a six year old. <laughs> I love that idea. I'm just not sure how many like kids we can <laughs> trick into being part of a do it and die episode. Or we dress ourselves up like children. Ooh, we just have to hop my hats. beard though. <laughs> yeah. You have to. Mm. <laughs> Where, I would totally you could, shave it if I could find could, my razor. You could wear a <laughs> if I could find my razor. <laughs> you could wear a hat on your butt and sit upside down, but you'd have to shave something else. To <laughs> that way you're funny. That the balls and like penis are the eyes, eyes of and, the a, and a Squidward nose. <laughs> uh, I don't know, guys. That Squidward's mean? nose nose is a little too long for that. <laughs> yeah, mine's more of a button nose. <laughs> It's oh. a butt on nose. <laughs> oh my god! So anyway, I've got a, I've got one more idea. Great, and this one's also ridiculously big um, to do. Just like Brett's nose, <laughs> his butt and nose, his, his butt and <laughs> nose. <laughs> um, but the other idea is um, so it starts with like hellfire and like brimstone, and this guy's being tortured, and he's like, ah! and and it says like uh, like uh, you need to stop doing this or like stop doing it that way or something, and then the guy like wakes up and he's like, <gasps> and he's a pirate, and he's just like, oh man. I gotta change my ways. Oh, the, it was. I, you better change your ways. And he was like, "I gotta change my ways." That like echoes. That yeah, <laughs> yeah. And so he goes to his crew and is like, "All right, guys, we gotta change our ways. Let's be more polite uh, when we ransack people's ships." <laughs> And so they're like, they're like ransacking this guy's ship, but they're like really polite about it. Excuse like, me. <laughs> Pardon me, sir. May I have, uh, may I have that? And I'm like, thank you very much. And I'm like, you see my new sword? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, well, those are the politest pirates we ever met. He's like missing an arm. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> could... like burn it on a burning ship that's like sinking. <laughs> and he like, he goes to, he goes to bed that night and he's like, well, a job well done. Like, and like, there's the fire and brimstone again. And like, like, no, you better change your ways. And I'm like, all right, more polite. <laughs> so Kill him with kindness. Gets yeah. like more and more polite. polite. Pillaging. <laughs> yeah. And finally they get to a point where they're just giving people money. <laughs> and they're like... And they're like <laughs> yeah. And he has a dream. He's like, all right, F that's fine. All right. <laughs> and then, yeah, that was like, that was basically the, the whole idea of us. Like, they're just being like super polite, but like pirates. I like the idea of them having like contracts and stuff <laughs> and they sign up the other ship to have like life insurance <laughs> and coverage <laughs> so that their families yes. can get like a settlement once they murder them. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, I think um, maybe the end, well, because maybe the end they could be um, like they 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 can't figure out how to make the world a better place. Yeah. Um, and it turns out after after trying you know giving them money after being polite after like massaging their feet after like <laughs> a long trek of you know whatever that they, they can't figure it out. Um, they they try to like cook food for them and bring them stuff, and then they end up 
serving Captain Crunch. <laughs> like what what becomes Captain Crunch? <laughs> and that's their contribution to the world. And that's how that's the fucking that's, like that origin was... story of Captain Crunch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, like you don't hear like I I don't know I don't know how uh, to how to segue it. Like his like, name was Captain Crunk or something. And then like they just cha- changed it over the years to Captain I think he should just be Captain C the entire time. <laughs> <laughs> See, you, Captain. What's your last name? Crunch. Crunch. <laughs> and yeah. it's like because he eats his enemies. <laughs> he invents Crunch. like such delicious cereal that they name it after yeah, Captain ma- Crunch. Well, I'm thinking of something something that he, can, he can makes make the, the ultimate sacrifice and lets his crew eat his body and they're like oh this is delicious Crunchy. put a little <laughs> milk on it and like yeah yeah maybe maybe the the final thing is like he he's gets been he gets Poseidon. sick and he's like old gray beard and he's tried everything and he can't figure out how to like solve you know how to, how to be contribute and and he when he dies he says like i want you guys to use my body for sustenance <laughs> and then he's like dried up on the on the deck and then and then they they cut him up and he's all like this blow yeah he's all he's all like dried up and like leathery and then it just makes a crunch sound when when they break him and try to eat him he's like this is way too dry so they add a little and then, <laughs> but like a little bit and then like, like they have milk but they're eating milk. their captain <laughs> <laughs> well we never run out of milk we're pirates <laughs> we stole a bunch of milk last week <laughs> and then i like the like the very end the guy's like oh shit the roof of my mouth it just tore up <laughs> oh because like i've not once eaten captain crunch and not <laughs> and regretted not, like gotten your whole mouth destroyed <laughs> yeah i always wait to like it's just about to be soggy and that's when i start eating it so it doesn't destroy <laughs> me that's <laughs> genius yeah <laughs> oh, i like cereal tips with brett <laughs> i like oh yeah and maybe maybe there's like a mutiny and they end up like being um so the idea is there's a mutiny because they're not getting any profits anymore because they're <laughs> Cause whatever. Too nice. Yeah. And then since they end up poisoning the captain <laughs> after With he's candy? discovered the cereal or whatever. So like instead of the captain being the cereal, like <laughs> like he discovers it and gives it and that's his contribution. And then they kill the captain. And then the pirates are just a bunch of serial killers. <laughs> <laughs> They spread their ways. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Fuck! I think that's a wrap on this podcast, guys. Thanks for joining us. And uh, Scotty will give the, Scotty. the final you. sign off. Oh, um, he did peace. I, I did two peace signs and held my head slightly to the side to those who are listening to just the audio, um, <laughs> which is ninety percent of our ten million audience. <laughs> yeah. Bye, guys. Thank you. I love you.